Brothers, uh, sisters, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to your respective time. This is your brother Ismail reporting from Kampala, Uganda. Uh, actually, this topic that I want to discuss with you is a very important topic that uh, uh, it is important for everybody, to everyone. Anyway, you always hear that somebody hates the other one. You also hear in English word haters. You hear jealousy. You hear somebody, you know, does not love this guy. You hear someone is not happy with someone's success and someone's achievement. Someone is molesting. You hear all those, right? So those things exist but they make us stronger. I won't tell you the main reason as to why we need haters in our lives. Actually, if you don't have anyone who hates you for what you're doing, then you're doing boring. What you're doing is absolutely boring. It's not something that is good. It's not enjoyable. So if you found yourself that nobody hates you in the community, in the society where you live in then you are absolutely nothing that is what I can tell you uh, in other words if you have haters if you have a lot of challenges people who always talk about you people who tell you that you are very bad person people who always try who always wants to pull you from up to down then you're doing great and take that from me. Never ask anyone else. Why am I saying that one? Let me give you an example. When we were in school, uh, if you get like, uh, if you get a paper like 60, five marks in math, and your fellow student has got 90, what do you feel? Don't lie, okay? What have you felt in your schooling when you were in school? I am sure 100% you felt so bad. How come that you got these little marks, this, you know, and this fellow student of yours has reached to that level of by getting 90 marks. So you ask yourself, what did this guy do in order to get those marks what did he do by getting all that and you don't like that okay yes so there's some story I won't tell you I'm not no lie you know you, when you when you tell people something that you've experienced uh, that will also you know it will make more impact when I was in school especially at university uh, doing my first bachelor at Kampala International University uh, Actually, there was a coursework that uh, we were given as a group, and we met. Actually, I met, uh, we were like six. Uh, our group uh, consisted six members. So we met. We discussed. We actually, and then we decided to give the responsibility to to only two people to represent on our behalf. That's what we did. Just we selected two people from our group to actually uh, present the topic that were given to us. So, and the rest just went home, started playing, you know, we thought that there's nothing left we are going to do. So, and everybody slept actually, and the work was given to those two people to present or to represent in the class. So, the following morning that uh, the, the morning that we were supposed to present. Uh, actually, we didn't have all that pressure, other, you know, the other four members. In fact, I was among them. I'm not lying to you. So, what happened was that uh, the madam, the lecturer, came and told us that everyone, it's like, it's like she informed us immediately that we were going to have a test. And you can understand what test means. That all books were removed from the classroom and they were taken to outside. So everybody 
should be with his Ben and with his uh, actually and she's the one who distributed even the booklets so those who did not write those, those who did not read well will not manage that right and most of most of us failed so I remember I got very less marks like uh, I got uh, it, it, it they, she was marking like 15 marks 15 so I got like four marks so I was very <laughs> even I didn't know what to what to do <laughs> because I deserved to be given that max. So uh, there was a guy he was actually a Congolese a Congolese uh, guy. I asked him what he got in the beba, and the guy told me that he got one. I felt happy because I got more max than him. But if you could have told me that you got ten, I would have felt bad. So why am I giving you this example? This thing is happiness. If you see someone is hating you, there's a reason as to why this person is hating you. Nobody hates someone for no reason. So let me congratulate you. If you have a haters, congratulate you upon your success. You might find there are very many successful people in life right now that they have a lot of haters. Everyone wants to, achieve, to reach that person. So there's nothing they can do other than hating them. So haters actually we love you and we need you in our lives so whenever you see a hater make sure you appreciate you even give what you have because it shows that you are capable of person if you are someone who can do better than him or her thank you guys and subscribe the video thank you very much